In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I believe to be the best passing concept out of a five wide formation in the entire game of Madden. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. We upload videos every day that can help you get better on both the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball. And so if you're looking to get better as we start to kind of move into the Madden 22 training camp portion of the summer months, um, where as we're, everything we're doing right now is preparing for Madden 22, learning concepts and things like that, uh, I would encourage you to hit the subscribe button. We've got a lot of great content coming. We're going to be talking in depth about zone coverages and man coverages and match coverages. We're also going to be talking about different types of routes and combinations of routes that you can use uh, to beat defenses. So be sure to be able to look out for some of that content coming soon. Now, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the empty Y flex formation. And if you want to get my full empty Y flex mini scheme, um, then you can, all you have to do is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. I'm going to be posting that later this week uh, for you guys. But the empty Y flex out of the Steelers playbook, I think is probably um, right there with the five wide receiver trips as the best five wide formation in the entire game. I love this formation. I think it's super effective. And in this video, we're going to be going over the play Y stick. I think this is the best five wide passing concept in the entire game. So this concept is honestly super, super simple to run. Uh, what I want to do first is I want to talk about the specific route that we have um, in this post route that you would think in most concepts is a slant. But in this particular one, it is a post. So I'm just going to snap the ball. And I just want you to kind of sit and watch this post route. And I'm going to, you're going to see here that I'm going to throw this on the sideline just like that. Now, my zone drops are set to 30, 10, and 10, which is, I think, the best way to play zone defense in Madden 21, or definitely at least the safest way to play. And what you're going to notice with this play is that no matter what happens, the user is always going to have to user the route to the square receiver. You're going to see here that it comes open at multiple points. It's going to run all the way across the formation. This is one of the few routes in the game that is actually going to beat every single defense as one specific route. This route is... Um, Basically the same route that used to be in the New England Patriots gun bunch out of the Pat sale uh, Madden has since kind of patched that a little bit or just changed that route up just a little bit and made it a little bit uh, Deeper and just not as effective, but as you can see here We're getting over 30 yard cloud flats and we're getting under um, in a soft spot within the zone coverage So again, let me just show it to you one more time and you're gonna see what also I like about this is because it's the play stick um, because it's it comes from the play Y stick if you watch the quarterback to snap the ball, you're gonna see that he's gonna instantly be ready to throw. So if you just watch, I'm not holding any buttons. You see, he just takes one step and then you're able to throw. So if you hit the left trigger, I've always talked about this. If you um, if you basically just tap the left trigger, you're gonna be able to step up in the pocket anyway. But um, as you can see, it's really, really good. Now I wanna show this route against man in particular as well. So you're gonna see against man, this route cooks man coverage. Every single time, right on the cut, it will always be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. Now. Uh, as far as the pressure, uh, like a like a basically a six man blitz goes, I just want to show you this route against that. Um, the one thing I don't, I will say, is the seam flats do kind of hang with it for like a split second, um, as opposed to um, like as opposed to like a slant, like kind of similar to the way they'll they'll stick with the slant. Um, one thing you can do, you're going to see here that if I put my my triangle receiver on a flat route, when I go to throw this ball, um, you see he's still going to sit on it, but he's not really going to play it. He's going to kind of float in, but he's not really going to do anything um, to stop the route. Another thing that you can do with this is you can take that triangle receiver, and you'll see here if I put him on a little five-yard out route, now because he's got a little bit more of a vertical stem, it makes that flat route a little bit more of a threat. One last thing I want to talk about before we go into the other routes on this play is that this play is also very good against Palms coverage. So I'm just going to reset my play, uh, and then I'm going to go to uh, the cover four quarters. Uh, defense just so that you can see what this looks like and this route will be very effective against that as well as you can see easy read against the cover four palm defense okay or cover four quarter type defense now let's talk about the rest of the play and why i love this play so much so this formation is really unique out of the Steelers playbook in my opinion because you can do a lot of things to get really good pass protection but honestly, you don't really need to. And the reason why is because of the slot receiver. So my favorite route to put the triangle receiver on is a zig route. 
The reason why is because if they are not playing hard flat coverage, you're going to easily be able to hit this read for a couple yards every single time. Now, the curl flat will play that better, but let me show you like the Mike Blitz 3. If they go to blitz you, um, this little slot whip route right here is going to be an easy read that you can hit for you know five to seven yards. It's also going to do a really good job because let's say, for example, that they're doing something like that, but they're going to put a purple zone out there. Like They're going to actually change that to a curl flat. Um, what you're going to notice is that curl flat will get way outside, and you're going to now have a very nice opening to be able to hit your um, to be able to hit your wide receiver. So that's one reason why I like this. The other reason is this motion right here. You see, I can motion this whip route inside. The reason I like this is because if you're playing a lot of press man, which I think you will play in five wide, um, this little whip route right here will kill it. You're going to see he's just going to roast his man, and you can easily work that combination over and over again. So I love this whip route motioned in especially against man and zone as well um you'll see here let me just show you this one more time against zone um especially against this blitz because i think you need to be prepared for this but the cool part about this whip route is you see how open it gets against zone and i can easily just get a couple yards pretty quick against the zone the other thing that's really cool about this though is that you is basically you're going to be able to do the same thing on the other other side of the field so um what we can do on the on the right side as I set this up real quickly, um, you're going to see this tight end route is one of my favorite routes in the game. I've talked about it before, um, but basically what the tight end is going to do is he's going to, against zone, he's going to kind of find a soft spot in zone coverage. So if I just snap this ball, I just want to show you where he gets to. You see, I can just pass lead that to the right. And as you can see, it's able to beat the zone coverage, which I think is super, um, super, super significant because uh, like vert hooks and stuff, they're not going to cover it. So as you see right here, I put my defensive end in a vert hook to the right side of the field. I've also got a hook curl going to that side as well. And this zig route in combination with the post, not only is it going to get open, but let me just show you what happens. You see the vert hook, basically if I pass that to the right, I've got that read every single time. So that's another reason why I really like this play is because zone really doesn't guard it, um, really doesn't guard any of the routes. You're going to force the user to have to user one of these underneath routes, and then it's going to allow you to throw on the other side. Now, let me just show you this tight end route if they are running a Mabel concept. like, And what I mean by that, if there's no yellow zone in the field, they're just running straight Mabel, where they have a purple and a cloud, uh, or a curl flat and a, curl, a cloud flat. And as you'll see right there, we're able to sit, consistently hit this for five to seven yards. The reason I love this play, though, all in all, is because of just the power that you have um, that you can use within your post route on top of all of these other things. So one other little thing that you can do with this, because this tight end route is so good, um, it doesn't have to have a pull route. I mean, the pull route will certainly help it. But if I take this, if I take Scotty Miller here and I move him to the other side and I'm just going to put him on a flat route, I just want you to watch what's going to happen to the tight end. You're going to see that he's still going to sit in the soft spot in the zone and you're still going to be able to hit him. The reason I like to do this is a concept that I've talked about before on my channel is that I like short side hitches a lot against zone coverage as well. And so the reason I love this so much is because this is a way that you can really put a lot of stress on your opponent because when you motion this guy over on a flat route, and that's honestly the only adjustment you need to do, what you'll see is this triangle. You see how they're going to pick one and then you can basically just throw it to the other one. I think that's super, super effective. I think it's super simple. And I think it's really, honestly, a great way for you to not only hedge your bet a little bit against the blitz, but it forces your user, like the guy that, the guy that is um, the user on the defense, it forces him to have to come down and defend some of these underneath passing concepts, which in turn is then going to open up all of this grass over here where we can now throw this post route on the sideline. So I want to thank you for watching this video. And like I said before, if you want to get this five wide scheme, go ahead and text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Or if you just want to get uh, any of the 21 free schemes that I release, have released so far in the Madden 21 season, you can get those over there at the text message membership. They're complete full schemes out of a lot of the best formations in Madden. So if you want to get that, just simply text the word Madden to 208 218-6900 and Madden 22 will be releasing schemes every single week for you guys there so it's just a great way to be able to get better at this game and it's completely free no strings attached and it will always be that way so thanks for your time I hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you guys later